Abdulaziz was the 32nd Sultan of the Ottoman Empire and reigned from June 25, 1861 up until May 30, 1876, where he was overthrown via a government coup. He was the son of Sultan Mahmud II and succeeded his brother Abdulmajid I in 1861. Born at Ayyub Palace, Constantinople, on February 8, 1830, Abdulaziz received an Ottoman education but was nevertheless an ardent admirer of the material progress that was made in the West. He was the first Ottoman sultan who traveled to Western Europe, visiting a number of important European capitals including Paris, London and Vienna in the summer of 1867. Apart from his passion for the Ottoman navy, which had the world's third largest fleet in 1875, the sultan took an interest in documenting the Ottoman Empire. He was also interested in literature and was a talented classical music composer. Some of his compositions, together with those of the other members of the Ottoman dynasty, have been collected in the album European Music at the Ottoman Court by the London Academy of Ottoman Court Music. He was deposed on grounds of mismanaging the Ottoman economy on May 30, 1876, and was found dead six days later under unnatural and mysterious circumstances. A portrait of Sultan Abdulaziz's parents were Mahmud II and Pertivni al Sultan, originally named Husaym, a Circassian. In 1868, Pertivni al was residing at Dolmabaz Palace. That year, Abdulaziz took the visiting Eugenie de Montijo, Empress of France, to see his mother. Pertivni al considered the presence of a foreign woman within her private quarters of the Seraglio to be an insult. She reportedly slapped Eugenie across the face, which almost caused an international incident. According to another account, Pertivnial was outraged by the forwardness of Eugenie in taking the arm of one of her sons while he gave a tour of the palace garden. And she gave the empress a slap on the stomach as a possibly more subtly intended reminder that they were not in France. The Pertivnial Valid Sultan Mosque was built under the patronage of his mother. The construction work began in November 1869 and the mosque was finished in 1871. His paternal grandparents were Sultan Abdul Hamid I and Sultan Anoxidal Sultan. Several accounts identify his paternal grandmother with the maid Yubuk de Rivery, a cousin of Empress Josephine. Pertivial was a sister of Kushiar Kadin, third wife of Ibrahim Pasha of Egypt. Kushiar and Ibrahim were the parents of Ismail Pasha. The Ottoman Empire in 1862 Sultan Abdulaziz during his visit to the United Kingdom in 1867. Between 1861 and 1871, the Tansumat reforms which began during the reign of his brother Abdulmjid I were continued under the leadership of his chief ministers, Mehmed Fuad Pasha and Mehmed Emin Ali Pasha. New administrative districts were set up in 1864 and a council of state was established in 1868. Public education was organized on the French model and Istanbul University was reorganized as a modern institution in 1861. He was also integral in establishing the first Ottoman civil code. Sultan Abdulaziz, accompanied by Emperor Napoleon III, arrives in Paris in 1867. The kings of Europe are in Paris for the opening of the Universal Exposition of 1867. Abdulaziz cultivated good relations with France and the United Kingdom. In 1867 he was the first Ottoman Sultan to visit Western Europe, his trip included a visit to the Exposition Universelle in Paris and a trip to the United Kingdom where he was made a Knight of the Garter by Queen Victoria and shown a Royal Navy fleet review with Ismail Pasha. He travelled by a private rail car, which today can be found in the Rami M. Koch Museum in Istanbul. His fellow Knights of the Garter created in 1867 were Charles Gordon Lennox, 6th Duke of Richmond, Charles Manners, 6th Duke of Rutland, Henry Somerset, 8th Duke of Beaufort, Prince Arthur, Duke of Connaught and Strathern, Franz Joseph I of Austria, and Alexander II of Russia. Imperial coach used by Sultan Abdulaziz during his visit to Paris, London and Vienna in 1867, currently at the Rami M. Koch Museum in Istanbul. Queen Victoria and Sultan Abdulaziz on the royal yacht HMY Victoria and Albert during the Sultan's visit to the United Kingdom in 1867. Also in 1867, Abdulaziz became the first Ottoman Sultan to formally recognize the title of Khedive to be used by the Vali of the Ottoman Ila of Egypt and Sudan, which thus became the autonomous Ottoman Khedivate of Egypt and Sudan. Muhammad Ali Pasha and his descendants had been the governors of Ottoman Egypt and Sudan since 1805, but were willing to use the higher title of Khedive, which was unrecognized by the Ottoman government until 1867. In return, the first Khedive, Ismail Pasha, 
had agreed a year earlier to increase the annual tax revenues, which Egypt and Sudan would provide for the Ottoman treasury. Between 1854 and 1894, the revenues from Egypt and Sudan were often declared as a surety by the Ottoman government for borrowing loans from British and French banks. After the Ottoman government declared a sovereign default on its foreign debt repayments on October 30, 1875, which triggered the Great Eastern Crisis in the Empire's Balkan provinces that led to the devastating Russo-Turkish War and the establishment of the Ottoman Public Debt Administration in 1881. The importance for Britain of the sureties regarding the Ottoman revenues from Egypt and Sudan increased. Combined with the much more important Suez Canal which was opened in 1869, these sureties were influential in the British government's decision to occupy Egypt and Sudan in 1882. With the pretext of helping the Ottoman Egyptian government to put down the Arabi revolt. Egypt and Sudan nominally remained Ottoman territories until November 5, 1914, when the British Empire declared war against the Ottoman Empire during World War I. In 1869, Abdulaziz received visits from Eugenie de Montijo, Empress Consort of Napoleon III of France and other foreign monarchs on their way to the opening of the Suez Canal. The Prince of Wales, the future Edward VII, twice visited Istanbul. By 1871, both Mehmed Fouad Pasha and Mehmed Emin Ali Pasha were dead. The Second French Empire, his Western European model, had been defeated in the Franco-Prussian War by the North German Confederation under the leadership of the Kingdom of Prussia. Abdulaziz turned to the Russian Empire for friendship, as unrest in the Balkan provinces continued. In 1875, the Herzegovinian Rebellion was the beginning of further unrest in the Balkan provinces. In 1876, the April Uprising saw insurrection spreading among the Bulgarians. Ill-feeling mounted against Russia for its encouragement of the rebellions. While no one event led to his being deposed, the crop failure of 1873 and his lavish expenditures on the Ottoman navy and on new palaces which he had built, along with mounting public debt, helped to create an atmosphere conducive to his being overthrown. Abdulaziz was deposed by his ministers on May 30, 1876. The Torbay of Sultan Mahmud II on Divan Yolu Street, where Abdulaziz was also buried. Death of Abdulaziz, an imaginary depiction by French artist Victor Masson. Abdulaziz's death at Srigan Palace in Istanbul a few days later was documented as a suicide. Following Sultan Abdulaziz's dethronement, he was taken into a room at Topkapi Palace. This room happened to be the same room that Sultan Selim III was murdered in. The room caused him to be concerned for his life and he subsequently requested to be moved to Baylor Bay Palace. His request was denied for the palace was considered inconvenient for his situation and he was moved to Ferry Palace instead. He nevertheless had grown increasingly nervous and paranoid about his security. In the morning of 5th of June, Abdulaziz asked for a pair of scissors to trim his beard. Shortly after this, he was found dead in a pool of blood flowing from two wounds in his arms. Bedroom of Sultan Abdulaziz at Dolmabaz Palace in Istanbul. Sarcophagus of Sultan Abdulaziz and the mausoleum of his father, Sultan Mahmud II. Some of the Sultan's descendants are also buried nearby. Several physicians were allowed to examine his body. Among which Dr. Marco, Nori, A. Sato, physician attached to the Imperial and Royal Embassy of Austria-Hungary, Dr. Spaniolo, Mark Markel, Jatro Pulo, Abdener, Servet, J. De Castro. A. Merowin, Julius Millingen, C. Cara Theodori, E. D. Dixon, Physician of the British Embassy, Dr. O. Vitalis, Physician of the Sanitary Board, Dr. E. Spader, J. Nurigen. Miltiadi Bey, Mustafa, Mehmed certified that the death had been caused by the loss of blood produced by the wounds of the blood vessels at the joints of the arms and that the direction and nature of the wounds, together with the instrument which is said to have produced them, lead us to conclude that suicide had been committed. One of those physicians also stated that his skin was very pale, and entirely free from bruises, marks or spots of any kind whatever. There was no lividity of the lips indicating suffocation nor any sign of pressure having been applied to the throat. There are several sources claiming the death of Abdulaziz was due to an assassination. Islamic nationalist author Najib Fazl Sakurek claimed that it was a clandestine operation carried out by the British. Another similar claim is based on the book The Memoirs of Sultan Abdul Hamid II. In the book, which turned out to be a fraud, Abdul Hamid II claims that Sultan Murad V had begun to show signs of paranoia, madness, and continuous fainting and vomiting until the day of his coronation, and he even threw himself into a pool yelling at his guards to protect his life. 
High-ranking politicians at the time were afraid the public would become outraged and revolt to bring Abdulaziz back to power. Thus, they arranged the assassination of Abdulaziz by cutting his wrists and announced that he committed suicide. This book of memoir was commonly referred to as a first-hand testimony of the assassination of Abdulaziz. Yet it was proven, later on, that Abdul Hamid II never wrote nor dictated such a document. Admiral Hassan Rami Pasha supported the Sultan's modernization efforts. Admission ticket to Lord Mayor Thomas Gabriel's reception of H.I.M. the Sultan Abdulaziz Khan at the Guildhall on July 18, 1867, issued to the chairman of the P&O Steam Navigation Company. Culverin with the arms of Philippe Villiers de Lille Adam, Siege of Rhodes. Caliber, 140 mm, length, 339 cm, weight, 2,533 kg, ammunition, 10 kg iron ball. Remitted by Abdulaziz to Napoleon III in 1862. Abdulaziz had five wives. They were Duranev Kadin, Haranadal Kadin, Edadal Kadin, Nizrin Kadin, and Javeri Kadin. He also wanted to marry Princess Taha to Hanum, daughter of Ismail Pasha, Khadiva of Egypt. However, Grand Vizier Mehmed Fuad Pasha opposed the love match on the grounds that Ismail then would have too favorable a backstairs entree to the Sultan. Fuad's objection was written on a small paper, and given to the head chamberlain, who instead of reading it to Abdulaziz, handed it to him. The Sultan was insulted, Fuad was fired, and the marriage plans were cancelled. Carrot at the time of his accession to the throne in 1861, he had two cadens. Between 1861 and 1867, he had three cadens. In November 1872, there were four cads and one Eichbel. Media related to Abdulaziz I at Wikimedia Commons works written by or about Abdulaziz at Wikisource. Thanks for watching.